Okay, we're going to work on our karyotyping assignment. Uh, first step is to take your chromosome sheet and you are going to cut out all the individual chromosomes one by one and make sure that you trim them pretty close to the printing so that you don't end up with a lot of extra white space that you need to fit onto the other piece of paper. going to keep cutting out all of the chromosomes and you can stack them in a pile. When you get to the sex chromosomes, one of them has an X on it and one of them has a Y on it, you're going to want to cut out that X as well and the Y and keep it with that chromosome because that way you'll be able to tell that those are different than the other chromosomes. It'll keep you from getting mixed up. Okay, once all of your chromosomes are laid out, you're going to want to find that X and the Y chromosomes and we're going to separate those out first so they don't get mixed up. And you're going to glue that on. That's your 23rd pair. The sex chromosomes always go last, the very last pair. So we're going to glue the X and Y chromosomes on for the 23rd. Now for the rest of the chromosomes, we're going to start with the longest ones and we're going to pair them up. You can tell if they match because they will be the same length and the banding patterns of genes will also match. So your longest pair will go in the first slot and then the next longest pair will go in the second and so on. So you'll probably want to pair up all of your chromosomes first and then put them on the paper and glue them down very last. If you glue them down too fast then you will end up regretting something and um, putting something in the wrong place. So pair them up, then put them on, and then glue at the very end when you're happy with where everything goes. Keep in mind that you might have an extra chromosome, so there might be a third one for one of the pairs and you need to hold that aside and you can put that on at the end. But all of the other chromosomes should fit in the spaces, so you're organizing from tallest to shortest all the way down through all the spaces and all the banding patterns should match up, so you should have a pair for each slot. Okay, so this is what your sheets should look like when you're done. You should have a pair organized by length and then one extra chromosome and you need to figure out where that extra chromosome matches and then you are going to write down the number of chromosomes total that your person has and the type of disorder, if any, uh, based on that extra chromosome. So figure out where that goes and you can tell this is certainly a male because of the XY chromosomes. So you can take a look at all the banding patterns here. If you have your chromosomes flipped upside down that's alright too. But they should definitely be from shortest to longest with one extra. and then you will use your chromosomal disorders page to figure out which chromosomal disorder coordinates with that extra chromosome 
and then you will use the amniocentesis essay to write some conclusions about what you learned and how that relates to your life. And that's where we'll stop for this activity.